Hey YouTube friends, Police Me Super Life here. Hope you are doing well. The New Year, New You sentiment does not always work for everybody because January can be the worst time to set personal goals, especially while surviving the winter. So fear not, this video is not about jumping through ridiculous hoops and commitment to a list of overwhelming New Year's resolution while we are trying to get a grip of our other activities. It is not about guilt, unself punishment, or regret. This video is about gracefully and calmly taking responsibility for your health in a loving way and feeling inspired to do so. Now let's go right ahead with step one which is identifying what is in your way. The place to start is by identifying all the things that are not contributing to your health and well-being in your life right now. After watching this entire video I invite you to stop what you are doing or set time aside for a moment and consider this first point. Ask yourself what is in your way. Your list for example might include lack of sleep, stress, procrastination, eating too much processed foods or sugar, personal health issues, low self-esteem or worrying about the state of the world, dealing with unbearable pain, mental health issues or not having enough time to get to the gym and finally an injury that is stopping you from going out jogging. Don't hold back, just dig deep and reveal to yourself all the blocks towards your goal of radiant health and well-being that are present in your life right now. It is only by really rooting out the issues that we can then move forward and take responsibility for them. You might be very accustomed to not thinking about these things for fear that they might multiply or grow bigger. But let me reassure you that the first step to healthier you is knowing what is not serving you. Let me also reassure you that we are not going to fix all these things at once. This would be overwhelming and impossible. So don't panic. You could always get guidance and remedies for health challenges or goals via online coaching. Sign up in the link down below. Now back to the topic. Step two, find your source of positivity. Now think for a moment about a positive role model or a coach or a friend or a mentor you have had in your life who really helped you to achieve things you never thought you could. Continue by recalling the kindness, understanding, encouragement, and belief they held in you towards achieving such goal and try to relive that moment as you focus your attention on overcoming the things that are in your way. One after the other. Let me remind you that this could take some time. On the other hand, if you have never experienced this kind of coaching or mentor relationship, maybe you are a mentor to a good friend or someone else. Now focus on recalling the positive ways of encouragement and reassurance you have expressed to help someone achieve a goal. If none of these methods are possible for you, your last resort, if you cannot think of anyone you know or do not recognize this quality in yourself, then think about a character in a movie or a video game who has superpowers and can move mountains and defeat all negativity. Then use that character as your source of empowering positivity. Moving on to step three, be honest with yourself. Now it's time to get even more honest and identify the ways you talk to yourself when you are stuck behind one of these blocks on your list. Chances are your self-talk might not be very helpful, hopeful, or with a positive attitude. What do you actually say to yourself. Listen closely, you might be shocked by what you are hearing. Your limited belief system about yourself may be running the show. And just at the point where you need to be your own best friend, you may be rejecting yourself to a set of negative self-defeating thoughts and suggestions that you wouldn't even inflict on your worst enemy. Common self-talk script can include punishment, scorn, anger, blame, shame, hopelessness, victimhood, panic, and fear. This negative self-talk and cycle of limiting thoughts and emotion is surprisingly really bad for your health and well-being. You can be living a healthy lifestyle, but if this is dominating your thoughts, then you are not going to feel very well. Let's follow through with step number four. Choose your goals. So back to that inventory of block to health. Now it's time to choose the biggest issue on the list or the issue that you are ready to work on in your life. Just focus on this one issue and allow your positive mentor, friend, superhero voice to talk to you about this issue. Just sit back and really listen to this voice of encouragement, reason, positivity, and self-belief. Keep listening until you have fully internalized this voice of self-care. You know this is coming. Step number five, make a plan. So now you are ready to set your health goals for 2023. Setting a health goal is like
like making a promise to yourself saying i will look after your wellness this coming year and future to come and i will prioritize what you need and want writing your health goals down is really a good idea and posting them up somewhere in your living space where you can see them every day strengthen this commitment we are all different so start by identifying what you need to put in place to achieve your goals here are three examples of how different people might address their goals we have three people to keep things simple i name them person a person b and person c now person a really benefit from having one single clear goal and to their fridge this goal could be to do 100 push-ups by the end of february this person dive right into it and get on with this goal in the very moment enter person b who developed a bit more of a plan to support their own success this plan is detailed as follows train on monday wednesday and friday afternoon also take supplements every morning and make a high protein smoothie every day to take to work this person benefit from having a strategy and a plan person b break things down and give themselves stepping stones to reaching their goals finally person c uses a different approach they enjoy being involved in a group or a movement that supports their personal goals they really thrive on daily communications and group encouragements go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that already let's imagine your health goal was to get more good quality sleep every night due to sleep difficulties ask yourself these questions what is currently stopping me from getting good quality sleep this could be because of drinking too much coffee scrolling through social media after 10 p.m anxiety restlessness and inability to fall off to sleep so now make a plan to remedy each one of these blocks to quality sleep the plan goes like this the first block drinking too much coffee the first solution is replacing coffee with decaffeinated coffee herbal tea or a morning smoothie the second block scrolling through social media after 10 p.m the solution is implement a digital detox from 9 p.m and onwards on the weekdays third block anxiety solution is to include some calming herbal teas like chamomile into your bedtime routine fourth block restlessness the solution is to take 30 minutes off to exercise every day include getting fresh air or even going out for a walk the fifth and last block the inability to fall off to sleep the solution is to make sure your your bedroom is dark when you are going to bed you might also want to carry out further research into supplements such as melatonin to assist the circadian rhythm carrying on to step number six and last put your fingers on what you need now you know what you want to achieve and you have your very best mentor friend coach voice internalized on hand i invite you to do some more research on our website link down below to find coaching on different matters that haven't been covered here to finish up this video i'd like to share a few successful stories with you the first story submitted by ben thompson and it goes like hey holy is me super life i suffered for years every winter with pesky painful itchy swelling on the toes and fingers one year it got so bad that my fingers swelled up like a sausage i went to the doctor who said he could give me steroids cream to bring the swelling down personally i didn't want to go down that route while thinking about my options for this issue i then miraculously remember some of the posts you made from years before to use ginger and hot on berries so i made and drank the tea three times a day and my finger went back to normal i have hardly had any of this issue again ever since it's been five years now and i forget i ever used to get them here is another success story but this one is dealing with mental health issue submitted by fred simon hi holy is me super life i've suffered with ptsd for a few years now the symptoms came out of nowhere from past abuse and have never left me since it turned my life at that time upside down and i had to leave work due to the symptoms i have been on a lot of medications that have never helped or have been very addictive and have made me worse off after so long i wanted to try something natural to help myself calm down when i'm heightened and fear or uncontrollable emotions it has been so hard to live with so i'm grateful i finally found holism super life i was coached to use valerian tea chamomile and catnip throughout the day these herbal remedies have really worked on calming me down and helped me get through daily life more easily 
and sleep which was very difficult i recommend this to others in my situation obviously i have had to have more cognitive therapy to help the actual issues which again holism super life will coach me through but in the meantime these teas have helped me more than any medication i have had it made a huge difference in my life another success story from john who was dealing with immune issues after coaching with holism super life i have been using echinacea for around two years now i have to say that absolutely this is the herb for me i am a type 1 diabetic which means i have an autoimmune disease so i could pick up colds and flu more easily than someone who doesn't have diabetes i have been around colds infections and including a 12 hours flight surrounded by people coughing i up my dose when i know i have been around infection and i maybe feel tired for a day or two but it passes at christmas i was in people's houses who were very ill and yet again echinacea saved the day i have used various other health consultation services and the quality has been nowhere as good nor the results holism super life health consultation make you feel so refreshed and offer amazing quality i also love dealing with holism super life's efficient friendly and first class service thank you so much holism super life our last success story came from Dwayne Watts titled you help restore my energy I have looked for many methods to restore depleted energy especially naturally I tried a lot of products with no results but when I use the tips from Holism super life coaching I saw remarkable results my face look younger my hair brighten my muscle and digestive system are well I begin my days with meditation and exercise then I use the methods that Holism super life has taught me for those who want to restore their energy i recommend holism super life coaching session to be taken at least two or three months to get the proper guidance you may have this question why holism super life well it's because of the quality and unique human touch they offer despite that the coaching and health consultation is held virtually it's more convenient than i thought it helped me to be free to be where i want to be and get the guidance towards solution at my own pace anyway that's it for today hit the subscribe and like button so you won't miss stable health solutions you can steadily appreciate remember leading long-lasting healthy lives is priceless perhaps we can find your solution together through health coaching link down below i'm curious to read your thoughts and comments below ask your health related question there also enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you in the next one